It's almost time for a gathering of the squids once again, my friends, as a Splatoon 2 Direct descends on Thursday, July 6th, and we're here to predict what they unveil. What's up, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Jake and Gabe are here. Direct's coming our way Thursday, July 6th, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. What more could they possibly tell us about the upcoming multiplayer fiesta it's a tricky one right because we know so much about the game um the e3 just happened there, there was you know a couple of hours of uh treehouse presentations about splatoon we we were uh, shown salmon run in depth uh we we were even shown some of the single player stuff so what could they possibly have um one thing that i see a lot of people hoping for and i really hope this is the case too and you know you pointed out like hey it's probably too late for that but another test fire would is my like top like what i want the most really that would be really cool. And they, they, you know, last time with Splatoon 1, they had a direct and then had a test fire that right weekend. after. Yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah. They, they could do that. But I feel like if it's not this weekend, it's not going to happen. Because, look, we're, we're two Fridays away from the game, right? It's the third Friday. So they have two weekends. And I don't think they do a test fire the 15th and 16th. So I feel like it would have to be the 8th and the 9th, the, the 7th, 8th, and 9th. But, hey, they could do that, get some more hype going. Um, I mean, obviously we know about six of the maps we know about a bunch of modes um jake we were talking earlier about league battle that was talked about uh a little bit ago but they could definitely dive more into that which is sort of this teams of two or four player mode where you compete for two hours to see you can get the most points yeah i think that they might instead of being focused on like these big new reveals um like a new salmon run map or more new multiplayer maps or something they might just focus on that, like a test fire and then kind of double down on the features that are unique to this game um maybe show off some of the more of the, the squid culture and stuff because they were mentioning how that's gonna be like upgraded with new like companies and then the old companies trying to keep up with the the young kids and their fashion sense and all that um <laughs> they might reveal also there was a thing about uh, on nintendo.com about um the uh, my nintendo rewards for um uh, switch and the first one or one of them is going to be um, tied to splatoon 2 some custom uh, gear that you can get with my nintendo reward points um, so maybe they mentioned that or something i'm not 100 percent sure yeah i wonder as well if they dive any you know any portion of this direct into either Splatfest or the dlc plans with the arms direct uh, they hinted at max brass who is the first dlc character there uh, he also was the final boss, so I don't know if that's just a coincidence. Um, but maybe they will give us a slight look ahead or talk about how they are going to handle tournaments or more about online. I think there's a lot they can dive into. Um, they seem to really go in-depth at E3 on Salmon Run. Uh, so I, I feel like that won't be the focus here. Um, maybe some more on single-player. People have also... Uh, suggested that perhaps there's more to local multiplayer, some extra split-screen modes, or maybe things that better take advantage uh, of playing against or with the person right next to you. Yeah, um, the, 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 what I was thinking of Salmon Run uh, related was, uh, you know, since they already did a test fire for the regular one, maybe they have a, a test fire for, like, just Salmon Run. Uh, get, give people a chance to like get into that mode because they are pushing pretty hard for that mode so what if it's just like that would a, be super cool yeah uh, I, see because the the way that they worded the the, the image on, on the tweet was check out some of the new features in the upcoming switch game splatoon 2 so maybe new modes new weapons like there's a number of things they can do um we touched on this uh, earlier um off air but we were talking about how the original splatoon came up with like five maps and now mm -hmm. there, there's way more what's the number now 13 16 15 uh, i mean the, the total for for splatoon one yeah is 16 by yeah. the end by current you know i don't think they're gonna be putting any more out so i guess the complete splatoon one is 16 maps sure yeah. so i went from five to 16 so that lets us know that they had uh, a, a pretty good uh a flow of maps for like dlc and uh, as i understand they were all free dlc the maps so maybe they they do something similar now we have six maps so far announced for splatoon 2 um you know six being more than five but that's still like a pretty small number do we think that they maybe announce four more maps just to even it out to 10 and then we get a bunch of dlc yeah i mean they confirmed that they were they be launching with more maps than splatoon 1 and i guess technically six, six puts is them more over than that, <laughs> that limit but i feel like yeah i feel like they may add a couple more, although they are very committed to that DLC plan, as we've seen with ARMS, so it could be something where they do hold them back uh, to kind of introduce new content as we go. I feel like this will be, you know, the ARMS Direct right before unveiled Kid Cobra and Twintel and Bark and Bite, I feel like this won't be as many big new reveals, and like Jay, kind of like you mentioned, more 
uh, explanation and detail driven. I do wonder if they're going to announce more functionality for the Amiibo, sort of how they have the challenges tied to the Amiibo in Splatoon 1. That's something that they haven't mentioned uh, for Splatoon 2 and would be a great addition. I think they will also spend time on some of the weapons that they've revealed more subtly, uh, some more of the sub-weapons, things of that nature, and then also probably like a fashion segment, right? Like going through, like here's some of the cool new outfits. It would be really great if they embraced a little bit uh, of like crossover would you like to see like some switch no. crossover no 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 clothing crossover not like a mario cap <sighs> no 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 I, I want i want splatoon to stay splatoon and crossover is cool when, when when it makes sense like mario kart and like smash not not for no not here no guys didn't want crossover in arms you don't want crossover in splatoon 2 well, they have such a rich like culture. The the, the squid yeah, culture true. is so deep and so rich that I like that they're they're branching it out in its own direction, flushing it out in its own way. That they don't need to cross contaminate. They just can push the boundaries of Squidville. Yeah, I really like Gabe's idea. I'm gonna go with that as sort of my main prediction. I think we do get a new test fire, and I think it is Salmon Run as opposed to the multiplayer. I think that would be really cool. A single weekend of Salmon Run just to sort of show how fleshed out Splatoon 2 is and really cement that, hey, this is a sequel and not, you know, some people initially were like, oh, Splatoon 2 is just going to be, you know, a cash in, yeah. you know, kind of repackaging of the first game. But no, this is a sequel. There's a lot of new stuff there and let's highlight it with this Horde style mode. I'm excited for the day where um, we get to like, keep some of the rewards that we get on, on these uh, test fires. Because like, you know, well, first of all, they're only like a few hours, so maybe not. It doesn't make sense. But uh, and, and one of your coins. Yeah, like man, let me keep my coins. <laughs> For that would have been nice. That, yeah, that would have been really nice. Yeah, I I don't think it's gonna be a very long direct. No, um, but no. I think the best things we can get uh, are like we mentioned, a test fire. Um, would you guys like a deeper look at single player? Or would you rather them keep that very keep, secretive? And yeah, keep it under wraps. I'm good on that. That one trailer that's out there or and the presentation um, that, that we saw during E3, I'm good with that. We've seen plenty of it, and uh, I, I want to just be pleasantly surprised by the rest. Do you think there is anything that they could add to Salmon Run, or Jake, do you think it was pretty thorough at E3? I mean, it's pretty thorough. I'd love there to be another map, um, even if it's like, the same exact theme, just a different geometry of the structures that you can climb. But right. um, they were pretty focused on that one map, and they didn't say anything um, about it. I'm wondering if it's solely just Splatoon, or like they did at that one Arms Direct where they threw in Splatoon alert at the end um, and talked about Salmon Run. If they do that with another game at all, or if it's just it's probably pu purely Splatoon. Yeah. But that did happen with the Arms one, so I was just theor thinking in my head, what if they did put another game at the end as like a ha, -ha well, got you again. They made it clear that it's just Splatoon this time. So I don't think that happens, but yeah. Yeah, and I guess the next game up would be Mario plus Rabbids, which is a Ubisoft thing. So beyond that, if they teased anything, it would probably be what? Pokin related? Yeah. No idea. Pokin tournament? Yeah, I'm I'm super pumped though. Again, Splatoon two is probably has been my most anticipated game beyond Zelda. I mentioned that multiple times, so I'm I'm super stoked to see what they've got going on. And to bring things uh, full circle here, we are going to be streaming Splatoon 1 on Friday, this Friday, so the day after the Direct, Friday, July 7th, we will be streaming Splatoon 1 at 9 p.m. Eastern, which should be a lot of fun. We will be bringing you uh, some OG Splat action, Squids and Kids uniting. If you've got a copy on Wii U, you can join in. We're going to be doing that the next two weeks to prep uh, for Splatoon 2, unless there is a test fire, in yeah. which case we'll replace that. If there's <laughs> a test be fire, hilarious. Then, then we will be playing Splatoon 2 during that slot, or whatever slot I guess they, they give us, because that's kind of up to Nintendo to be like, you are playing it now. But yeah. uh, plan on the Splatoon 1 stream, and we will audible if Nintendo uh, grants us another test fire. Any final predictions, hopes, dreams out of this direct? Yeah, uh, I... The one I mentioned and, and the one that you kind of like backed up, um, Salmon Run Test Fire. That, that's what I want. Um, hopefully they make it happen. Another Salmon Run ma map. Yeah, uh, salmon uh, Run map would be real good. I, I think, you know, also maybe just diving more into the modes or showing us a mode. I saw some people saying like, hey, do we get like a, a team deathmatch mode or something that is a little more, uh, you know, straight up kill focused? But I don't know if that happens. They already have uh, quite a few modes in here quite a few weapons in here i think it's just going to be 
showcasing them more. They have made some modifications to things. Uh, Rainmaker now shoots uh, blaster-like exploding shots instead of large ink tornadoes, splat zones. Um, now shows the progress of how much of each area is captured. Tower control has checkpoints for the tower stop. So they are making modifications, and maybe they just kind of detail that stuff uh, more thoroughly and give us just a little hint at, I think a hint at DLC or kind of plans for that. And then the last one I'll mention, which I, I mentioned previously, is I think if Splatfests are a thing, this is when you announce them, and that is like a really nice, yes. feel-good fan announce moment. Announce the first Splatfest. Yeah, do that. That'd be good. And I, or if there's a way to expand upon that, because last time it was just, you know, like two straight votes, like cats, cats or dogs, dogs, roller coasters yeah. or water slides. Like if there's some way that they can expand that, we're like dream scenario, right? Like Splatfest winners get like a, a special avatar on their, their Switch or something like that. Like that would be incredibly cool if there was a Ooh, way to Do you tie. think they say anything about Callie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where That's is she? That's a good point. Where is she? She's, she's rumored to be evil, so... Yeah. Do they give us a little info on her her team change there? Yeah. Yeah, and may, maybe like a a synopsis of some of the new enemy types, some of the new bosses, kind of like a lore, uh, a, a dive into lore maybe? Yeah, maybe. That would be really cool. Let us know what you think you'll see and hope to see from the Splatoon 2 Direct. We'll be there as soon as it happens, let you know what is all going on and our take on it. And tune in for the live stream Friday, which should be Splatoon 1, unless they announce the test fire, in which case we will switch over to the latest. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you're pumped for Splatoon 2. For myself, Jake, and Gabe, have a fantastic day. Switch for us out.